At one point or another, we all dream of doing something big. Planting our flag at the highest possible point. Picturing ourselves as the king of the mountain. But not all of us can make it happen. Mountain Dew did. In winter 2018, Mountain Dew was looking for a way to deepen its connection to a snow sports community it's pushed forward for decades, but has recently become inundated with competitors claiming to be more extreme, more innovative, or uh, claiming to be king of the mountain. But Dew was here first, and snow sports is at our core. So we embarked on a mission to do the unthinkable, create a fresh, authentic, monetizable Dew-owned snow sports property to engage with its beloved Dew Nation year after year, nationwide. We called this mission, the Snow Dance. We launched the inaugural Snow Dance experience the only way we knew how, going big, like really big. Invading the iconic ski town of Breckenridge, Colorado during the 2019 season's opening weekend and transforming the mountain into Mount Dew. Oh, and we did it with one unreasonably awesome goal. Awaken the winter skies and bring snow to the mountain for all to enjoy. To bring snow dance to life, we unleashed an arsenal of tactics, starting with a massive month-long teaser campaign with radio sponsorships, targeted digital and social outreach, and a good old-fashioned statewide grassroots blitz. Through it, we got the word out to make sure anyone willing to strap plywood to their boots was ready to come out and party. Then, we overhauled the mountain, creating a neon green takeover starting in town and rising all the way to the summit with an array of immersive outposts manned by green yetis, Olympic medalists Red Gerard and Julia Marino, and offering up everything from a VR arcade to live DJ sets and dance parties. And another thing, we managed to create a captive audience of thousands for an unprecedented 12 hours in an era when attention spans are measured in swipes down the Instagram feed. Once night fell, a mere eight hours into the experience, we brought 6,000 of our newest friends back to base camp, where two legendary artists, Dramatic and the one and only Outcast legend and most recently Super Bowl halftime show performer Big Boy proceeded to bring the house down in celebration of snow. Oh, and did we mention six inches of snow actually fell during the concert? So yeah, when a brand like Duke with deep roots in the snow sports industry hits the high country to create its very own proprietary event for the sole purpose of bringing snow to the slopes, you better believe they do it big. Now, with the snow season winding down, resorts across the country are lining up to work with Dew on creating a snow dance of their own. Lighty top top. Lighty top top.